Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm using a fabulous die set from Lawn Fawn called Magic Color Slider. I'm going to show you three of the cards I created with this set. This is what it looks like in the packaging. And I'm going to take this out and start snipping all of these elements apart. The papers you see in the background are the colors I'm going to use for these cards. It comes with three different window dies. It comes with a rectangle, a heart, and an oval, and I'm going to make a card with each of these. I began by cutting out all of these pieces. That took a while, but I'm not going to make you sit through it. These cards take a bit of work to put together, but it's fun work, and the possibilities of what you can come up with using this set are endless. So here are all of my cutouts, and it did take a bit of work, as I said, but now I'm ready to start stamping. I'm tracing the pocket window dies just so I have an idea of where I need to stamp. I'm using some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock for this. I'll be erasing these lines after I finish my stamping. And I'm going to use three different stamp sets. The first one I'm using is called Sending a Smile, and it's from MFT. I'm stamping the flowers out one at a time so that I can group them closer together than the stamps allow. I thought that using flowers for one of these magic color sliders would just be ideal. It kind of reminds me of the Wizard of Oz when everything's black and white at the beginning, and then Dorothy opens her door and sees all of these bright, beautifully colored flowers. That's kind of the idea I'm going for with this card. When you slide open the window, the flowers are going to come alive with some pretty colors. I'm also stamping on a piece of acetate while I have my stamp in place on the misty door. This way, when I go to assemble my cards, I know that the flowers on the acetate will match up perfectly with the flowers on my white cardstock. You'll see what I mean here in just a minute. To stamp on the acetate, I am using Stays On ink, and it's a nice, sticky, strong ink that will stamp on the acetate. And I do stamp it out twice, it just gives a darker, crisper image. I'm using some extreme black ink to stamp my images onto the white paper. You can't use the stays on ink if you're going to color with your Copic markers because it will make the ink bleed and stain your nibs. So make sure you're using the right ink if you're going to be coloring with Copic markers because you don't want to ruin your nice markers. So this die set from Lawn Fawn was something that I actually won. Jennifer McGuire was having a giveaway on her blog, and I commented on it. And I was so happily surprised when I received an email from her telling me that I had won this set. On her blog, she has a fabulous tutorial, and it's very detailed on how to use these magic slider cards. So I encourage you to go over to her blog and check it out. You can also go to Lawn Fawn's blog, and they have a tutorial as well on how to create these fun magic color sliders. Now that all my stamping is done, I'm going to erase the pencil marks around my images and I can get right into the Copic coloring. And I'm going to color all three cards with Copics. I considered using my colored pencils to color these in. Because some of these images are so small, it's hard to get into the nooks and crannies with your Copic markers. But I was worried that the colored pencils would obscure the lines of the stamping. So I decided to use my Copics after all and just use a very light touch to get into some of these smaller areas.
Now it's time to assemble my cards, and I'm putting a little bit of dot liner on the back of these colored panels, and I'm lining them up through the window, and then I can just close the card and it will attach where I want it to be, and I'm going to do that with all three. From here on out, I'm going to focus on one card at a time. I thought it would be simpler that way. For this first card, I'm adding some score tape and I'm going to adhere on the slider track. I'm being careful to add it to the very edge of this card. When I watched Jennifer McGuire put her cards together, she doubled up on this track and glued two together. I'm going to be using two, as you can see here. I did try a card with just one track, and I find that it slides a lot easier if you do double up on these. Now I can attach my acetate. I'm using more score tape for that. So I'm getting the window ready, and then I'm going to lay the acetate right over my image and make sure it lines up perfectly. Sorry about my head getting in the way here. I'm just trying to make sure it's ready. And then you just press down the top of the card, and your acetate is perfectly positioned. After that, you can put in your slider piece and add more score tape. And then you can press it down and your little slider element is done. Doesn't that look so cute? It's just a lot of fun to play with. Now I'm just using some dot liner to attach it to my card base. You don't have to attach these to a card base. You could call it done and just write a little message on the back, but I wanted mine to be an actual card, a little mini card. I stamped all my sentiments and little images that I'm going to be adding to the card off camera just for the sake of time, but I do have to show you this fabulous glue product that I'm using from Gina K Designs. I was at her store a few weeks ago and I was asking her about this product and she didn't have any out in the store but she said she did have a few in the basement so she went downstairs and grabbed a few for me and I am just loving this product. It's so easy to get the glue to flow and I find that it sticks very well. If you've watched any of my past videos, I'm sure you've noticed what a difficult time I have with some of these glues. It's challenging to get them to flow through the nozzles. So I'm just loving the ease of this glue. I'm using some foam squares to pop up these hearts. I'm going to add a little bit of Spectrum Noir on these hearts just to give them a little sparkle. That's so fun. <laughs> and then this card is complete. On this card, I did mat my slider element with a piece of hot pink cardstock, and then I'm gluing down some sequins just to add a little sparkle on this one. I think this one is so magical when you slide it open and see the little fairy and the cupcake in color. On my last card, I'm gluing down some water droplets. I'm attaching these right onto the acetate. I was a little worried because the glue was showing up really white underneath these droplets. After I gave it some time to dry, the glue did dry clear. And I was so relieved about that. Because if you can't see the color through these pretty water droplets, then it loses a lot of its punch and effect. I'm adding some more glitter pen on this butterfly, and I did stamp my sentiment right onto the slider element. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also click on the bell if you'd like to be notified when I publish a new video. And don't forget to share this video on your favorite social media. And this completes the last of my three slider cards. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and find some time to sit down and create something fun. Bye.